In a big city, there lived a mouse named Max Max was a city mouse, used to the bustle and excitement of urban life. He moved deftly between alleys and dark corners of buildings, always looking for something exciting to do or something delicious to eat. One day, while exploring a back alley in search of food, Max ran into his childhood friend, Pancho, who lived in the country. Pancho was a country mouse, and although he didn't have access to the same comforts as Max, he always seemed radiant and calm. Hello, Max. Pancho greeted with a warm smile. Hello, Pancho. What brings you here? What are you doing here in the city? Pancho shrugged his shoulders. I was just exploring, he replied. And you, how are you doing? After a brief conversation, Pancho looked around cautiously and said, I've come to visit you, Max. I've heard a lot about the city and I wanted to see it for myself. Max nodded excitedly. Of course. I'll show you all the best the city has to offer. So, Max took Pancho around the bustling streets of the city, showing him the shiny skyscrapers, the parks full of people, and the restaurants with delicious delicacies. Pancho was fascinated by the city, but also felt a little overwhelmed by all the noise and constant activity. After a day full of adventures, Max invited Pancho to his home in a small corner of the subway, where he lived in a luxurious nest made of pieces of newspaper and cardboard. Pancho looked around in surprise. It's very different from my home in the country, he said. Max shrugged. It's a little small, but it's cozy, he said proudly. Just then, a thunderous noise echoed through the subway tunnel, followed by a flash of light. A train whizzed past at full speed, shaking the ground beneath them. Pancho shivered and clung to Max. What was that? It was terrifying. Max smiled at him a little nervously. Oh, that's just the subway. You get used to it, she said, trying to reassure him. However, Pancho couldn't help but feel uneasy. Throughout the night, the noises and activity of the city kept him awake, and he couldn't help but think about the dangers that lurked around every corner. The next day, Pancho told Max that he had to return to the field. The city is exciting, but it's also terrifying, he explained. I prefer the peace and quiet of my home in the country. Max tried to convince Pancho to stay, offering him more adventures and fun in the city, but Pancho remained firm in his decision. Finally, Max decided to accompany Pancho back to the countryside and watched him get lost among the green fields and gentle hills. As he watched him walk away, Max reflected on what Pancho had taught him. Although the city offered excitement and comfort, it was also full of danger and stress. Sometimes the peace and quiet of the countryside was much more valuable than all the lights and excitement of the city. From that day on, Max visited Pancho in the countryside more frequently, enjoying the simplicity and serenity of country life, knowing that there was always a quiet place he could return to to feel good. The moral of this story of the country mouse and the city mouse is that the security and peace of the simple life can be more valuable than opulence accompanied by constant danger and stress.